Hello everyone, welcome back to Northgard Cross of Vidor. We're jumping into chapter 3 or cell. Um, we finished off chapter 2 at the end of the last episode and now we're going into playing the new faction. So Lothair, former king of Nostria, wants to take revenge against the brother who dep deposed him. He promised Rig a part of the cross of Vidar in exchange for his assistance. So we can either go with Brock. Extra happiness per zone with upgraded civilian buildings, except houses. Or Torfin. I think we're going to go Torfin because he gets better over time. And he also has that ram ability now. Although he does not trust Lothar, Torfin accepts to take part in this battle like me. He hopes to retrieve the ancient swords and come back to Northgard with enough power to defeat Elder Thassar. I really hope that truck is not being too noisy. Or that he buggers off very quickly. So it was true. There was a power in Eidavold that would allow us to end Ragnarok. As the others had all gone missing, I faced my duty alone. I had to find the legendary swords and assemble the Cross of Vidar. As it seemed, I would have to fight more than one king to achieve my goal. But this divine land was just as divided as the one I had just left and I was determined to use its quarrels to my advantage. Okay, here we go. Gloria! We are reaching Ocel, western stronghold of the Nustrian Crown. It is well guarded, each entrance is protected by a fort. And there's one more thing. Yes? I must lead this assault. I have lost my crown, but so have you. You have no authority over me. If this is perceived as a barbarian invasion, the local noblemen could unite under Carloman's banner and league against oh. us. However, a nice brother brotherly bloodshed People are used to it. A war between me and Carloman will raise no concerns. Bloody hell. How convenient. It is just politics, but you will get what you came for. <laughs> Alright, I will follow you. Okay, quickly, quickly. Let's have a brief look at the new faction. They do have the subjects, which I believe don't take any food or anything when they're in that home region near the chapel um oh okay so it doesn't have any of the special oh they have completely different yeah okay completely different uh upgrade ring but this is not the upgrades they get in single player Okay. So, we need to force Coleman to surrender. That's it. And... Oh, okay, we do have that ally over there. Now, let's quickly look at their buildings. We've got a Pathfinder Pavilion, that's our Scouts. We've got our House Tavern. This increases livability in the zone and turns assigned subjects into taverners to improve happiness. Okay. Can evolve into a bar room, more effective taverners, or a holstery, increase livability in all adjacent zones. Uh, then we've got the Foraging Posts. So, these guys don't do anything except produce faith. You need to build all those different buildings to get food. So, you need to build the forager post, which can be upgraded to a farmstead, a fishery, or a venery. 
Ja. Amart turns assigned subjects into merchants. God, that guy is loud. Hopefully he buggers off shortly. Um, turns assigned subjects into merchants. So that's, okay, that's our merchant. That's our um, shipyard. You can upgrade that into a merchant port or seaport. Got your smithy, who enhanced the reduction in the zone by 20% without occupying a livability slot. So that's like your uh, silo, but it now costs. Ooh. It now costs iron. And then you got your quarry. Then we've got our fort, who is like our watchtower, but doesn't create a watchtower now. You get a lord, who will guard this zone with bravery. And our sentry camp who creates weak little peasant mob but can be evolved into those three different areas the warrior being the champion the shield bearers being the phantasm and the archer being the axeman throwing axeman monastery turns sun subjects into monks who cultivate faith and heal wounded units can evolve into a reliquary Relic creation and abundant faith. So that's how you get your relics. Or an abbey. Food, wood, crowns, and faith production depending on fame. Monks produce fame. Okay. In that case, we definitely need the pathfinder. Who are you? Um, let's get a lumber camp built here too. person doing lumber. We need to take this out, that's for sure. Get you, both of you actually, over here. More food straight over there. Okay, go up here. I'm actually going to build a lumber camp up here then. And you can come back and build a house. Get in there. Okay, let's quickly have a look. Just check that all of these are the same. No. Oh, yeah, okay, well they kind of are, but... 
Subjects assigned to forts become lords instead of lords. They are more powerful. Okay. Military camps produce military experience. Reduce the cost of military buildings by 20%. Reduce the base cost of military units by 25%. I think hey, this is the way to go for this one. Since they are very military based. Increase the bonus from military building upgrades by 100%. While in battleground zone, your units have 30% attack power and attack bonus speed. And then this one's just the same. It's the defensive zones. Yeah, let's go for that one. Okay, I'm going to colonize this way to get the extra food. Where are you? You jump into there. Oh, we can't even... Can't even make this into a... Farmstead yet. You gotta upgrade them to farmsteads. That's insane. over here. Get him. Okay, we're going to want that quarry. As quickly as we can. So that we can start evolving some of these buildings. Thank you. That's appreciated. Ah, oh, this doesn't heal you. That's annoying. I am going to need a monastery fairly quickly too then. Okay, let's go for mining efficiency. And we want the monastery.
What increases the livability? Ah, the tavern. Increases the livability in the zone and turns assigned subjects into taverners who improve happiness. Okay. Maybe I should have built that there. Honestly. Because I've now got, yeah, three already. If I evolve that, provides extra everything for 200 fame. Every 200 fame, as well as extra happiness. Monks assigned to the abbey now also generate fame. Assign monks, cultivate more faith, and can uncover relics. Ah, oh, yeah. Bloody hell. Um, let's get both of you running out there to make that. Clear this one first. Bring you back here. Hmm. Okay. You back here. You go out on the next search. Okay, let's see. Uh, Anchorage, trade routes, reduce extra crowns. Building a monastery in a zone with a Viking artifact costs no stone. Oh, bloody hell. Producing faith in a zone adjacent to a neutral faction improves your relationship with them. Okay. In a zone with a Viking artifact. Oh, that's a. Ah, so it would have cost nothing to make it there. Okay. Well, that's good. Reduces your building's upgrade cost by 20%. Marketplace by 50% in stocks. Okay. Um, that seems good too. Each unit from your town killed. Oh wow. Units in the zone under protection gain 20% defense. Gain plus five percent attack for each type of friendly military unit in the zone. Okay, I think we grab that and then we go that way. Does that consumption go down if you end up back over here? 22.9... No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I was wrong about that. Maybe that doesn't work in the story. Maximum population by 4 and the capacity of every house by 2. 
Maximum warband by one, by two, and the capacity of a camp by one. Sent. 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 I very much need these upgrades. Come on. Winter needs to pucker off because I cannot support anymore. God, these guys really struggle with food. I should just for now put one of these here, I think. Until I need it for something else. Whoa, what was that? Carloman, that mulish brother of mine still unable to learn his lesson. You are unfit for the throne, Lothair. Just give up and be thankful that I spared your life. A decision you shall come to regret very soon. I already regret it. Your brother seems nice. <laughs> you would have loved our father. Ah, oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, nice. That is just what we wanted. Do produce a lot of faith. Holy. What are you doing? Oh, run, monk, run. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, why is it not... It's not clicking in certain places. Like, right there. That is... weird. Okay. Interesting. I was going to say, why is he not moving? You literally cannot click there. That is odd. Okay. Can't have a wolf attack. That would not be good. That guy is weak. Well, it takes a lot of damage at least. And now everyone's unhappy. Flippin' brilliant. I want to put this here. So I can increase the livability of everything around it. That would be lovely. Sent. 
Oh, I'm out of it. There we go. Does that increase livability as well? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Um, let's build that anchorage. Because I am now losing money. No stone or anything over there, so we'll upgrade this one first. That did not increase the livability around it, though. Assigned to this building, produce crowns more efficiently, also gives access to great trade routes. In addition to crowns, seafarers assigned to this building can bring back other resources from the expeditions. Let's go for that one. Extra resources from their expeditions. Ah, so some food. <laughs> Not much food either. Come on, we need more wood. This is getting ridiculous. Increases maximum number of warband by two. We could possibly have a camp by two. I think we'll go for that one. Get you to come back here. Run! Okay. Now I want to evolve this. Tavern is assigned to this building improve happiness more efficiently. Ah, awesome. Brilliant. On to food. That's what we need. And annoyingly, I need another woodcutter. I can just chuck one in. Let's go. More wood. Completely forgot about that. Increase livability in its zone. Increase livability in all adjacent zones. 